What's up guys? This is the Brokeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode, we are being attacked by the Polish trying to see, defend, or protect the city of Lviv. We now have the opportunity to destroy the garrison in the open field and knock out a few Russian army units with it. So we need to be a bit careful because uh, the main Polish force is coming in uh, as a reinforcement. So let's get ready well, let's deploy and then get ready to immediately shift our deployment because uh, the enemy is somewhere we didn't expect them to be because you don't you you don't necessarily know where they're coming in and i know you can do the whole just click play pause it immediately and then see where they're coming in then redeploy but i think it's kind of a bit i don't know if that's something you guys do then crack on it's your game enjoy it enjoy it play it play it the way that you find the most fun however that may be that's what matters the most but for me, I'm generally more of a, you know, even when things are just completely going, completely, completely going wrong, still just playing it, um, <laughs> playing it real time. So I'm going to be deploying, but none of my troops are going to be deploying um, defenses. I know the enemy isn't directly ahead of us, most likely. But still, I am not going to deploy in that manner. Steady picked up this this gun crew. We will likely be pivoting regardless, so I'll keep you guys behind as a bit of a reserve. So this gun team I redeployed from here. So we've got a small Polish army ahead of us, we've got a large Polish army coming in reinforcement, and we have a large Polish army also coming in. So who, which one are you? The Russians! The large Polish army is coming in from our left flank, so... I didn't deploy my howitzers like a silly billy. Pull them back. Oh god, my Freikorps cavalry just completely upset themselves. You guys get stuck in. You men deploy square. Let's keep pushing or moving around the flank. Commit my cavalry. Help protect my harzers. Redeploy my gunners like so. Push up the men on this flank. Yeah, that's the enemy. That's the Russian cavalry broken. Run the infantry up the hill to help protect them. It's a bit weird that we're not getting audio. My cavalry's in a bit of a sticky position, but the main thing was to get to make sure my um, actually you guys haven't been deployed to make sure my guns are protected exactly like how they should have been protected you men deploy a square if you want to lure them in my heavy cavalry is chopping through their cavalry well enough the gun crews are the horses are running away and that's fine the main thing is to protect the crews Don't mind, don't mind my gun crews being attrited. Get around the flank. It's a bit of a bum when the gun crews elect they decide they actually, what they really want to do is to uh, just get involved in a scrap. 
right in front of the line. So my cavalry is going to have to go. My, gen my general is going to have to go in, I should say. My guns to the rear. Engage the enemy infantry. The main thing is I've got my howitzers. They're what I didn't want to lose. get them quick climbing the enemy reserves coming in this gun team back here pick off the second regiment just keep forming square because fundamentally they find the AI find squares really difficult to actually deal with So the ideal thing is for us to kill these scallywags up here. Bring in the general. These guns are re-equipped, so start blasting them with canister shot. You men are in formation, or able to get into formation. Again, my cavalry here is going to be pretty well depleted but the goal was to the goal was to uh, pivot my line around you are going to push up form square again because they're coming back doing a guard get over here this cavalry is pretty depleted, so go wide and then go push up to attack the regiment of horse. New men form up. New guns actually firing? No. No, uh, you will. You will fire. Good. Everything will help. Keep pushing forward. The channel's bodyguard push up. You men go for the jumpers bodyguard. The gun team that's intact behind the lines here bombard this enemy troop concentration here. Oh, quick line. Yes, please. But you don't like that. No, sir. Don't ever let them have the breathing space they want. Drive up. Okay, you guys need to not be shooting our muskets. The hussars are going to keep pushing on. You are also going to keep pushing on. So we've got a lot of enemy infantry here that we would like to defeat. So that uh, warband here, they were going to, always going to be defeated. Straighten out your line. This gun team cease fire. Oh, okay. Nearly killed a bunch of my guys. Just a round shot, bombard them. There's only two guerrilla mercenaries, so you may as well try kill them. There you go, a 
we're starting to get a bit of a good old fashioned surround. Oh. Keep on killing them. Twenty third regiment putting up a bit of a fight. But I'm afraid it's not gonna be enough. Oh, there they go. Artillery ceasefire. We are going to continue. Because it is in our interest. Because this is a, a garrison we're after. Or that we're attacking. Kill as many of these infantrymen as you can. Not going to kill it. Kill either of the units. Well, they might actually, because they, they decided that running away was a bad idea. Yeah, that was a bit dicey, but we managed it. We managed it. That was a good. We repulsed the enemy. The question is, will they attempt to sally out from their garrison? This is their last territory, so uh, if they don't, uh, yeah. There we go. Fear not, Russia. The bridges are blocked. Interesting. So they are committing to the defence of Lviv. They're sending in the agents to try and steal our technology. Not that that's going to help them, really. Yep, you're in a very, very dodgy spot. You will probably run away. <laughs> Although it looks like they don't want to attack us. Uh, yes, we do want to intercept, especially if it's a river battle. It might not be, but let's see if it is. In either case, we got how it says in a bunch of quick climb. Uh, we are completely happy for this to be... Either any sort of battle, river battle or regular battle, they will be getting destroyed by our chemical weapons, effectively. What was that? Chemical or biological? Hmm. Interesting. I suppose the change there is you'd say, well, a biological weapon is like a physical, th is a thing that's like actually making the decision to eat you. Chemical warfare is more about a it's just something that's providing a, provoking a chemical reaction to happen, but then again, aren't how much of biology is just chemical reaction? I'm not going to get into this sort of... I'm not going to get into this debate. <laughs> B-men get ready to form. skirmish across the river but these infantry are in reserve I didn't even deploy my cavalry but mostly it's not going to be needed just already start firing quicklime. Two of you start attacking enemy units and one of you just start dumping it on the uh, on the crossing. And you're gonna miss out a little bit. You're not gonna be able to shoot all the way across the river. But, uh, they were like long-range riflemen. They might be having a pop. Yes, yeah, so there we go. We've got our... Some of our units are ready to attack the breach or attack the crossing. Some are already just going to be uh, missing.
Yeah, my one of my gun teams just keep attacking their artillery. Okay, I might group together the ones that will be attacking units as they cross. I've got one unit that will just keep dropping shots in. So these brave lancers. They will successfully cross. Maybe. Drop in a square. Because I know we didn't have the firepower to repel a lot of cavalry like we do um, our infantry. All we can really do is just... We can push them back and then we'll push them back and push them back and push them back. There you go, the camel gunners. Killed a whole bunch in there with the quick climb attacks. Should have some more quick climb attacks coming in. Against these infantry units, so that could get a bit dicey. Knocking some holes in their formations already. Yep, see the cavalry suddenly goes, wait a minute, we've only lost a third of our guys, that's not nowhere near enough. But here they come all the same. 47th Auto, Kizilbashi Musketeers. Here comes the native lancers. They're not charging, they're just they're just redeploying. But we're all reloaded now. Artillery is starting to make a bit of a dent now, actually. We may take one of these units then, one of these artillery units. They also engage. Most of these infantrymen will die from our from our own artillery fire. Yeah, this unit's been picked down to 163 men. You might be able to hold. You might be able to protect yourself a little bit by sitting that far back. You, you, you don't have advanced firing drills. Killing crew here. Is this going to be some... So I have to started firing, but I can't remember. You're the one that's helping the counter battery fire. It's these two that are going to be. When they fire, they're the ones who are going to land shots into this mess. It's from the other battery. Reload, damn it! Reload faster! Quick climbs in the air! <laughs> Suddenly they rise, oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Look at him run! Like, nope, we've had enough of this! Don't worry, it's plenty more bodies where they came from. This is how much they care about you. Indeed infantry mercenaries. So almost taken out one complete gun battery. Although so they're routing so now these guys can read or retarget the eighth battery. Here comes another block of men. So if you're one of my guys... Just a horde coming your way. There's plenty more where they're coming from. There you go, they're starting to charge. Quick, gl quick climbs in the air, although it's going to hit back here. Or is it? Let's call 
causing an upset. Reload. Oh, there we go. <laughs> they too have had enough. When the time is right, my cavalry will cross to try and slaughter as many men as possible. Oh no, my general's okay there. So who's up next? The seventh order. Seventh order. Being backed up by some camel gunners. Realising they may be able to win after all. Bit of friendly fire there. Come on, get the quick claim in the air. Quick claims in the air. It's just a bit behind. It's always a bit of a timing game, really, but just let them have at it. Second rank. Fire! Third rank. Fire! Up. Oh. So now all the targets are routing, so they're going to re reload. Get yourself loaded up, because you're getting some good experience here, fellas. Oh, here's the second order. Coming up for the. Forget the drubbing. Hello. No, they don't like that. Fire. Fire. My bow's ammunition's starting to not run out, but not be as full as it used to be. To be honest, I don't even know if I'm going to pursue. Battles like these are just so... Oh, quick climb is in the air. Yeah. And the artillery is... So one of them is broken. Attack the new target. You guys are okay. You are in range of this regiment of foot, but that is a challenging position you've put yourself in. And here comes the general's bodyguard. He's finally had enough. He's going to lead his men across wherever he is. Let me change his mind. <laughs> hey, hey, 36, daughter. How are you doing? Where's all your pals? Reload. More quick climb coming in. It's largely missed, but it hit the 28. I believe now's the time. It always means we will kill a reduced number of men, but we may actually kill units. Some of my might go after those gunners actually. They'd be a valuable asset to destroy. There we go. Let's speed up. Use my control one of my units of cavalry to make sure the 36th are defeated. Help my general attack the 28th. Come on. 
chump. You're wheeling the gun around. You are interesting. I imagine that's probably a bit of a bug. Oh, there's a crewman. Okay, so... Kill one, one last guy. Got him. Damn right, it was a heroic victory. We slaughtered them. We haven't even done anything yet. Look at that. Through 220 men, they lost 3,700. Back you go. I mean, yeah, we've not killed a lot of units, but all... I mean, yeah, I want you guys that really... They could probably win that, but let's just get them out. Ooh, that's even worse. Because now they're in they're attacked now they're in range of the army in the north. Okay, we might be losing an army here, everyone. <laughs> we may well lose a gallant army. But we will do what we can. We'll do what we can to enable a fighting withdrawal. If there's, a if there's a good defensive position, I'll take it. Because they're going to be coming in from behind us as well. Well, theoretically behind us. Frustrating, actually, because this is... Eh, it's okay. I mean, this ground is okay. Eh, no, it's, it's a bit undulating. I suppose I do ultimately like this... Something like there. You guys have hey, right, redeploying the same unit. So you men form a forward defensive line. The howitzers are going to be spread out in the centre. They're going to be firing all directions. So, I mean, they can push up here, but it's tricky, trickier for them. I have a militia unit protect flank. So then we've got a, a, a good chunk of units here that we can redeploy. These guns are deployed. Good selection of cavalry. It's tempting to just deploy you like this. Deploy you guys somewhat in the centre. Well, as soon as they get within quick flame range, they're going to need it. You guys are going to be doing counter battery. Ultimately, the howitzers may all switch to quick climb immediately anyway. These gunners, this foot, foot artillery can, 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 can do the counter battery fight. You're going to be firing quick climb. No, it's frustrating, but we're going to need quick climb. They're aiming at my desert mores, which is an interesting choice. Let's go up there, try to get the general's bodyguard. Kill the enemy general. Nice. Okay, let's make sure our quick climbing howitzers. I mean, we're all facing. We're facing forward. 
because we all need to just... Oh, you're shooting a different direction. Interesting. The gun, deploy them here. Get the Chevrolet Leger out on the flank. Because as soon as we start knocking out units to the front... They're going to start coming in from back here. Bomb square. Militia hold the flank. They're a bit irrelevant now. Okay, right. I think the right flank might be... This flank area might be the area to focus on. Goes the artillery battle. Both of you focus on one gun unit. Keep my cavalry screen against the native lances. Now we're getting some good work done. Cavalry is shrapnel shot. That could be a bit of a bummer. Team men up and at him. Or your musket fire into them. Excellent. Get back to attacking the targets to the rear. They're sending in more cavalry. Yeah, quick climbing howitzers probably need to focus the bulk on the right flank. Form square. Pull my militia back because it looks like they might be going for the desert militia. But the hope is they hit the square. Canister shot. Chamfer off this edge. fire at will. Off for now. You're going to be attacking Kizobashi to the front. You men are going to be attacking Kizobashi to the front. Okay, you men can fire at will. Cease fire. Blast them. Retarget howitzers to stuff that's running around the rear. Not stuff that's in the front. Push them off. Push them off. Blast them. One 
on these howitzers. Okay, again, focus on this corner piece, I think is my it's my main danger area. Let's bring up a cavalry unit. Cavalry is dangerous. Last twentieth. Form squares. Chevrolet open up. You charge them yourself. Cease fire. Get into line. Engage the masses. Get some of the quick climb to keep hitting. I mean, they can't hit that far. It's a unit of. Okay, keep. Okay, keep hitting the mercenaries until they are out. Until they shatter, rather. Then come back. We've repulsed a number of enemy attacks. So one unit attack the unit on the flank. You attack the twentieth. You men attack. Form square. The desert warriors are the weakest component. They push them back, get the African infantry guard out into the line. Blaster. Just about avoid my gunners, if you would. Ah, oh, too late. Make ready, you men blast Kizobashi. Ultimately, though, I think this is going okay. Claim it the levy, quick claim it the musketeers. Kill the native lancers. Once you get past the lance point, it's like killing rabbits. Gunners, man your guns. New man, form line, reload and engage. Target. Keep dropping it in front of my line. Canister shot. Come on, the reg this regiment of foot. You've done stupendously well. Pour it on him. Let's have it. Back you go. Now we're starting to see the enemy. The effects of the enemy come into play. Okay, let's advance my militia down off the hill to engage the hillmen. shot some, some 
počtu, nebo... No, don't shoot. Keep pecking away at the edge of the line with canister shot. See more fresh men coming in from the rear. You know you're going to do? You're going to dip, you're going to nip forward and attack those guns. One of these guns is going to spin around and start to engage the enemy to the rear. Both these gun teams switched to round shot, bombard the 15th. Withdraw. Get the Chevalier up with their carbines flaring. Fifth Regiment of Dragoons put a volley into the Camel Nomads. Wait a minute. Wait in my. Okay, right. Yep. Fine. Now gun your. Gun your men back into line. Okay, you men charge the Musketeers because you cannot do anything more useful. To keep the pair firing backwards, the howitzers stay firing forwards. They might not win, but they're currently melee only, so I may as well just send them in. They're already wavering. these men up like so. And it's the shot. So this left flank can walk down the hill. You can straighten up a little bit. Who are you going for, I wonder? troops to start to do damage to you fellas. Let's push this unit up, just close range, do the damage. You men limber up. Just you pursue the camel nomads, do enough damage to cause them to shatter. One of you just keep dropping quick line on their axis of advance. These 12 pounders redeploy over here. Well, you could be problematic. Okay, 
shatter them, shatter the camels. If you want to get into a musket battle with us, they're more than welcome to. Run the militia to the safety of the square. Okay, unlimber the... Oh, the these guns can't limber up because they are fixed. Redeploy my general. guys back come on this is what the square is for you love charging a good square no don't shoot them that's the last thing I want you to do run away to cut, shut off those guys. You men push up to engage the 15th. Engage the camel gunners with canister shot. Don't let them get away. Okay, they're routing. Bring these cavalry back. So let's begin picking off. Okay, you guys can just trap or shot the 15th through the trees. See if that should work in theory. Sparkling blue facings. Took the head off of one guy. Let's position you guys over here. And it's the shot. You guys just keep keep attacking deep. Charge the fourteen in the flank just to try and cause them some upset. Split the cavalry up, so we might have to try and surround and golf the forty third. again let's start to really lean on our artillery's ability to help out here cool infantry form a new rank Switch to shrapnel shot, engage the 52nd, quick climb, attack him, quick climb, attack him, quick climb, attack them. So you guys are still doing damage. To the 14th. Those guys are going to be under the. Oh, my cavalry. Thought well, that might have been a bit of a. bit of a boob. Canister shot. 
shot. Ammo the shots home. They this this can't be too far off of the bulk of their strength. And when these guys come up on the flank, they should be able to do a lot of good. Switch to shrapnel shot to keep engaging them at range. It's back here, they've got a gun team, infantry, camel gunners, and it looks like that's all they're bringing onto the field. Oh, yeah, there we go, more of our infantry is coming into the mix. How about you? Both of my gunners. Switch to round shot. Focus on the 24 pounder foot artillery. Lucky swine. Just uh, pretty much thank our lucky stars here because this could have gone spectacularly badly wrong. And this is why howitzers are so good. That 360 degree arc. Never ever forget it. So... Plenty of light cavalry. Advance around. Hit their gun teams. Gunners are routing. I believe, though, we have successfully managed to hold our defence. Round shot to bombard the fifth. Quick line, all focus on the camels. Excellent, 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 excellent. That goes a bit dicey, but uh, you know, we did it. We did it. Gunners, shift to targets, camel gunners. Yep, this might cost us our cavalry, but my god. Make it back to the line. Quick line inbound. Yep, and then my foot artillery will be the one that chases you guys off. Excellent hit. Ooh, excellent. Nope, they are shattered. Oof. Excellent. That went really well, actually. A bit dicey, but oof. Close victory. That's right. This force needs to retreat. It needs to retreat and <laughs> reconstitute itself. But that's a lot of damage. Back to our build quickly. <laughs> hey, is it because there's a unit that's got no movement? Ugh. Classic AI. I'm not going to repair the commercial port, so you guys get back to safety. You have done stupendously well, though. Congratulations, Isidore Radzlaff. You men push up here, then attack. And you're going to auto that attack just to 
Then you you will finish off these fellows. So that is finally the Middle East secure. Well, the Middle East. This part of the Middle East. The Iraq part of it. Let's get our... Get some of these territories upgraded. Because we are a benevolent overlord. We do not keep areas in destitution. We expand and grow their capability to make money. Contribute to the greater empire. And stuff. You can't leave there yet, which is a bit frustrating. Some good farm upgrades. Iron Master's works upgrades. Taki, let's get a church school. Upgrade the better roads, because we're going to have a lot of troops storming through here once we're done. Upgrade the cotton warehouse. Troops General. We will take these units from Cairo. We will take this 12 pounder from Cairo. And you will begin to recruit. Uh, you won't begin to recruit nothing. It's easier to do it from a city. Because, yeah, recruiting at distance, there's so many options that we realistically won't want. So. Something like that's a good start. Support upgrades. Right, so. <clears throat> We're knocking on the door of Ufa, and we will just take it. I mean, these territories aren't even upgraded. Can you leave immediately? You can, just about. Upgrade you to a church school. Not strictly necessary to have so many church schools around, but eh, why the hell not? Yeah, you want to give Kazan Astrakhan's right for the count. To be honest, Russia, you are very much in trouble. Despite the fact they've got all these armies here. Uh, if we take Astrakhan, Kazan, and we've got an army within spitting distance of Moscow. Well, I mean, this is that's probably an auto-resolve, realistically. Take back Petrovskaya. Think. The best decision is to not attack. Don't attack those Russian forces in near Lviv. Instead, let them. Oh yes, actually, you need to push up and re. So originally they were they're just sieging us. It's like no, Igor Zimatov. That's no good. Uh, I mean, you push up to threaten Moscow, but ultimately you guys are going to have to start start marching through. I mean, you could sail around, but I'm not going to be bothering with that. We are going to be... They're probably going to be marching through towards Persia for the most part. Craft workshop. You push down to the south. Start to get my some of my agents moving down here, though. It will take them a while, because we don't actually control most of the territory. So we did. We have no say on how good or bad the roads are. Yeah, no one at Astrakhan, so let's pull you back immediately. Give you an order to infiltrate Naroon. This agent here, give them an order to... Infiltrate Lahore. Send my spies forward. Uh, craft workshop. So you chaps replenish as much as you can. Lots of good 
general upgrades. It's good construction, but we're, we're already out of money. Tech advance. Threshing machine. You've gone to rifle cannons. Fair enough. Let's hit and turn. See what happened. Ah, oh, I forgot to... Well, we haven't lost St. Petersburg. We can take it next turn. I meant to do that. Uh, uh. We're going to have to fight it. But this is not a very nice army to face off against. But at least we're not really against much in the way of Polish resistance. And we do have an army to the rear ready to take over should Mr. Eichberg fall. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So let's end the episode pretty much in the same position as where we started. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.